my fourth musical in Wellington. Um, and the scale is getting bigger and bigger, and the cast is growing. Um, they have more people. Well, it's the first fourth time here. Like they have the musical more. It's a great show. I bless you. Better than all of them. Um, very colourful show with good choruses. Uh, excellent solos, memorable music, um, <clears throat> which uh, can, can be um, appreciated uh, at di different levels by audiences uh, of different ages. Uh, not only uh, youngsters who appreciate the policeman and the pirates and the, and the funny um, sort of character uh, character roles, which are, c can also almost be um, thought of as uh, pantomime characters in some senses, but also at a much more, a greater intellectual level. Uh, where people listening to the words very carefully and um, appreciating the, 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 the cleverness of uh, Arthur Gilbert's um, uh, words um, and of course the, the uh, memorable, uh, tuneful songs and choruses of uh, Solomon. <laughs> So it must either mean that when they say our father is a major general, they mean our court appointed guardian is a major general. So singing and dancing at the same time because I yes. can't do twice uh, two things. <laughs> Multitasking is hard. Okay. Um, the the biggest what the biggest worry for me was um, whether the cast would be able to it's a very wordy show um, and and musically as well and some you know quite difficult some difficult material. So I was, you know, we, the show last year musically was much simpler um, and I worried that, I worried about that. Um, but uh, but uh, was, we soon became very comfortable that the, this cast were gonna pull it off um, because they were learning things uh, quite quickly. Um, set wise, um, I wanted there to be a boat on stage obviously to open the show. So that there was some religious uh, things to sort of consider there. Um, uh, yeah, so those the, the two biggest challenges, I suppose, making it visually um, work, because there's only three scenes, so to speak, so there's three sets, and making sure that they were uh, you know, as sort of impacting as possible. Um, we're playing like the, um, the Pirate King's right hand, but we're, we're splitting the part and having like half each. Yeah, it's, that's what we're doing. We had exams and stuff, but I didn't want to take that whole time. That's exactly why we did it. You're allowed your own opinion, you idiot. Well, we, um, we auditioned extensively um, for, uh, for the chorus, for the Peace Plan, the Daughters and the and pirates and for solo roles, um, we had we had a few people in mind, but because some of some of them were very challenging and, and only um, a, a, a certain level of experience could um, uh, could manage these these particular roles, like the Major General, for example, or, or the Pirate King. So um, yes, whilst we cast the net uh, far and wide, uh, we were pretty uh, sure that um, the uh, the roles of, of, of the principal roles would be self-selecting in a sense that we knew that they they, they would be suitable for the, the people who who took them in the end and who who did a great job. And we, we always like to make sure that we you know we don't so we've been here this is our fourth year but there were people adding to them people come out the woodwork so to speak so we like to you know try and find a new gem so, or you know somebody that's not had the confidence to come forward before um so we, we do you know we like to try and find new people and new talent to to fill the, uh, the principal roles and and some uh, some of the students are not um not right for, for taking a principal role so having a big chorus is um uh, you know, also great because people, 
we Put know that um, there's a, we have lots of interest in and just being on the stage, not necessarily the critical. Right. And the way I know precisely what is meant by <laughs> Something witty. Yes, witty. Um, he's the Pirate King, second in command. Um, he'll never have true power of his own. But he doesn't really understand that. Um, so he's just trying to do his thing. Stupid. <laughs> I'm more important, obviously. Um, what was the question? <laughs> I'm already saying that about one of them. Actually, to be fair, both of them, really. <laughs> Flouncy, slightly, slightly flamboyant character <laughs> who sort of it does his own thing most of the time. And I play Samuel as a flagumsy type character, um, meaning I'm very, you know, reserved and, you know, uh, I'm not aware of how stupid some of the things I'm saying are. You know. He's not aware how much of an idiot he is. Um, thinks is this directed at me? Yeah. <laughs> at the end of it, when they do the curtain calls, they always never do the same thing. Like at one point, um, like they were doing wheelbarrows with each other and stuff like that. Also, at one point when they were doing cat-like tread, um, Fergus keeps holding a cat by its tail because um, cat with cat like tread and with a cat it looks really stupid <laughs> but then that's basically an overall of him really but but they are the stupid character yeah fair enough <laughs> so Miss Jane they suit really perfectly nice. <laughs> um, <clears throat> in the actual performances themselves uh, in front of an audience um, when things went absolutely right and, and uh, te technically competent um, and, and the audience enjoyed um, what they were listening to, like for example the, uh, on the first, uh, first act of, of the show on, on the Friday night was, was, was pretty close to um, uh, very accurate and uh, with a great response from the audience. So that was, that was a great elation to me and the last night as well of course where things went swimmingly along and uh, um, were, were well appreciated by a very, very enthusiastic and uh, raucous audience. So, uh, for, for me, um, I think uh, the part of the show which um, is, was quite um, impacting, I guess, uh, would be the pale poetry. Uh, everybody, apart from you know, everybody on the stage, still singing without a couple of Um, but I, th I think also the, 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 the dance numbers, the choreographed numbers, like the, the Major General song, uh, uh, Climbing Over Rocky Mountains, the Beatles coming in for the first time, all perfectly done. Uh, and when everybody was on stage, or uh, mostly everybody uh, in the second act, for example, at uh, the beginning of the second act with the policemen and the, uh, and the daughters, and then later on the policemen, pirates and daughters, uh, uh, when that came together, uh, with the lighting and with the orchestra um, and the costumes and people acting, that that was great. That was a great. Uh, that was a great moment for me. I'm trying to keep it together sometimes, you know, not laughing, because um, some of the stuff we do is really like stupid. Um, I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean it's just you know it's the way the pirates are. They're really kind of silly characters. Um, so it's, it's really quite difficult to stay in character sometimes and not laugh at once. I don't know, Mr. Booby a call or something. Um, so funny. The method he uses to get some he hasn't bathed in three weeks. Uh, he's gone around murdering and pillaging small Chinese villages just to get into the right mindset for his car. Uh, and it works. It's, it's Daniel Day Lewis. It's great. It's great. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I like the song more than Oliver because I suppose that comes into it though. You know, if you ever 
go to a British school, you're going to be in Oliver at some point. And I've been in Oliver like three times. Um, and I've, I've always thought that it was a great opportunity. I mean, all the shows so far have been a great success. So, yeah, and I'm glad that I'm part. Um, last year, I felt like there were a lot less rehearsals and we had a bit more time to do it. Um, but this year, and Jane came early last year, so it was easier and we got the auditions done and dusted, really. But this year, it still feels like it's like the first day of doing it, and it just makes your mind go boom <laughs> by the end of it. You're going to be in Oliver exclamation point the play uh, three times uh, maybe not I've been in it three times um. <laughs> um, how many laughs and also singing and dancing at the same time because I yes. can't do twice a two thing <laughs> multitasking as well okay. yes. last two shows I have been doing four I think it's uh, good things to be involved with, uh, to improve our speaking uh, English skills. Yeah, the very high pitch. <laughs> My favorite song is Major Yeah, yeah. and with Cat Like Dress. It's, it, yeah, the very high pitch. <laughs> <laughs> it sometimes doesn't make sense. And there's kind of lots of questions coming out from the show. <laughs> it makes you think a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and like these late nights that are getting quite hard, but I reckon it will be worth it in the end. But I'm a pirate, you see pirate in the swing on road. Uh, we have, a, we obviously have uh, things in mind, but we, we, we can't reveal that until um, we're close to the time, or we know that we can cast it and, and, and so on. So we will keep. We have to think about it very carefully before declaring what it is, yeah. what it might be. We'll keep yeah. everyone on the edge of their seats for now. We have Sophie believing that if she presses the bottom of the candelabra, then it sets off the smoke machine. So we've just gone to get the candelabra. You can see the smoke machine is working, and let's see if she goes with it tonight again. Hello guys, I'm Mabel from the Pirates of Penzance, and today, on the last show, I will demonstrate how to use the smoke machine without touching its controller. As you can see, there's this little thing inside that controls the smoke machine. Oh, oh, yeah. And it will stop working soon because I am, yeah. And it needs to warm up before it starts working again. Oh. Evan, rehearsing hard. Yeah! Little black submarine on the radar. Put me back on the Oscar, you haven't got your green stuff anywhere, have you? You collect it off the ship, don't you? I collect it off the ship. Okay, there's some. Oh, there about these socks, they feel like they're solid because of the little sweat, dried on them. Are you the very model of a modern major general? Modern major general. Modern major general. Those weren't words. Hello, Lonnie. <laughs> Hello, hi everybody. 
Absolutely packed. I don't know if we're going to get everybody in. It's a, it's a huge, a, a very supportive audience. There's lots of people with flowers. Because you've done it and you've done it better than I ever thought. Um, I don't think I've, we've had a bad rehearsal. I've always been uplifted by the world. And to see me grow and learn um, is, is amazing. So thank you for your hard work. Thank you for your hard work. I don't know whether it's because I'm exhausted 
or whether it's because I'm having too much fun. I don't know whether I'm going to miss this show or whether I'm going to be happy it's gone, but this has been so much fun. <laughs>